show for music trivia. Three rounds in store. It's head to head. Who's going to walk? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, Are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome to another week of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, joined as always by the ever handsome and talented Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thanks, Matt. Um, it's quite interesting that we continually do these shows in amongst our two nations competing for who can be the most embarrassing in any one yeah, week. We're um, crushing you. It's not even close. You we're crushing you. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, fair it's nice that you think you're in this conversation, but trust me, we got wackadoo on lockdown, man. This. You guys got to, you know, you guys are doing rookie numbers over there. You got to bump those numbers up. This is nothing get, compared to. Yeah, I guess in terms of the size of the country per capita, we probably are doing okay. Uh, falling apart at the seams. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, other than that, things are great. Locally, things are good within these four worlds. Good. Everything's good. That's How good. about That's you? That's all that matters. All good? No complaints. No complaints. Excited uh, for uh, today's show. Uh, we have a returning guest and we have a new guest, which is always fun. And yeah. uh, we've crafted a show that should be right in their wheelhouse. So hopefully it's another week. We've had a nice string of these where it comes down to basically the last question. So fingers crossed we get another one like that. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Me too. They were <clears throat> uh, very conscientious of their volume kicking across because they both put themselves on mute. I'm if they keep doing that, I'm wondering, you know, you have to buzz in with your name and I'm wondering if we're just going to see a mouth move and it just, it happens. It's going to screw him. Yeah, it's going to screw him. I would yep. say stay, stay off mute. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I don't we'll know. See. They're riding that mute button. Let's see if that continues. Yeah. I'm not Tr entirely Trigger sure. Happy on the mute button. <laughs> um, okay. Before we uh, bring them in, um, we'll have another fan show coming up in the near future. And if you'd like to participate that in that, rather, you can do it one of two ways to enter into the random drawing. You can leave a comment over at youtube.com forward slash Matt Knows, or you can like and retweet the tweet that I put out each week. Uh, some people choose to do both. And for every one that you do, we add your name into a massive spreadsheet and we just do a randomizer and pick two numbers at random. So uh, the more times you do it, it just enters your name in that many more times. And uh, we look forward to those shows each and every time. You get to meet new people. So uh, please come join us for the next fan show. We'd love to have you. And I think that's it. You ready to start today's game? I just want to add, in, it won't get you on the show, but uh, if you're on Reddit, go and comment on this set the score Reddit thread that's going down on the, uh, what do they call it? Like, uh, I don't know, it's the Schmodown Reddit thread thing. And there's a set the score page in there, which is basically someone has suggested that with the Schmodown ending, and we know we have a lot of fans that watch both us and the Schmodown, that... Settle the score is kind of the, you know, where we've got our arms open, we're ready you know, to get you all in an embrace and look after you in, in amongst your lack of trivia. Um, so go and boost that post for us. Go and comment on it. There's lots of lovely comments about us on there and I uh, really appreciate it as usual. So uh, yeah, go do that as well. But it won't, yeah, it won't get you on the do. fan show, but it'll just be super nice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe we'll include that. Uh, we <laughs> who knows for this next round? Not entirely sure. Um but yeah, please. It was nice to see, and uh, thanks for you know helping spread the word. We always appreciate it. All right, let is let's jump into today's game. We have first up, returning guest and sporting his Phoenix Suns uh, T-shirt, the one and only Mr. Andres Cabrera. How are you, sir? Good man. Good to see you guys. Yeah, I had to do it, man. I I'm still believing. Still believing. <laughs> hey, look, you you should be another good team. Uh, this year so fingers crossed yeah. everything breaks right for you this time around fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> that's right uh, and your opponent uh is the first time guest uh, on the show we're excited to have her and uh, uh, another factor or a faction within the final cut trio miss sabrina ramirez welcome to the Hello. show hi thank you so much for having me uh th thank you for joining us in the midst of a vacation yeah, coming in from Colorado, baby. So let's hope my internet stays good. If I don't buzz in first, it's actually just my connection. Cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, it is. It makes sense. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Uh, you're asking for favoritism, <laughs> and <laughs> I tend actually, not to so, do that. Sabrina, do you have a do you have like a one syllable version of your name because Ace really has you on timing? Yeah, I do. Sab. Yeah. Sab. Sab? Okay. Sab? Cool. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can call yourself whatever I'll you want. I'll go for this one now, yeah. <laughs> uh, it has come down to whoever literally can rifle their name out. It happened on last week's show, like three weeks ago, where we had to check the tape while the show was taping <laughs> to figure out who actually said their name first. It's coming uh, down to the wire. Once you finish that last syllable of your name, that's when it counts. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, uh, so... How are things in Final Cut land? What's going on over there? What do you guys Good. Doing? First cut, man. Uh, oh, first cut. Gosh darn Yeah, it. no worries. Uh, first cut's great, man. Uh, we just did a, a spoiler review of Stranger Things. Uh, Sabrina and RB3 got to see Thor Love and Thunder before I did, so they did their review for that movie as well. Uh, so make sure and, uh, yeah, go check out First Cut. Sabrina's a uh, part of our crew there along with RB3, so... We have a great team and uh, we do great conversations around movies and TV shows. So check it out. And that's cool. youtube.com forward slash first cut. Uh, first cut. Yes. Or uh, right. First cut. Right. Sabrina? Yeah, it's first cut. Okay. It comes up first. There's, a, right. there's a the first cut that we're competing with. It's like a yes. golf. It's YouTube a golf channel. Currently they're beating us. So let's settle that again. Come on. Yeah. Well, come on. The, come the on. first <laughs> cut for a golf channel. It doesn't even make sense. Does it? Is there anything I, I don't yeah, watch golf so to make the know. cut so they they have the general field and then there's a cutoff point once uh, they get into the weekend play so uh, first cut is lame. basically the culling of the weakest yeah that sucks all right <laughs> it does suck. we're all in agreement they suck yeah, yeah. come on now yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do this let's but let's boost those numbers come on, once again um all right are you two uh ready to begin today's first round ready Ready All right, to let's go? jump into it with round one. So, Sabrina, you will have choice one through five in this opening round. Once you make your selection, uh, I will give a clue and Andy will begin playing. When either of you think you know the movie that this is from, buzz in with your name. I will call on you and you're guessing the movie itself. So don't concern yourself with the name of the song. It's worth 10 points. And there is a bonus question worth five points, but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question when we come to it. So, Miss Ramirez, one through five, where would you like to start today's show? I will start with four. All right. Number four it is. Good luck to you both. Your opening clue is Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now. Ace? Ace. Interstellar? Incorrect. Ah. Um, it does incorrect. sound a bit like Interstellar. It does, a little bit, yeah. Can I still guess, right? No? Uh, let's see if Sabrina can rifle one in. Just realizing I should have changed the camera because I couldn't be more boring in my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Kong Skull Island, just based off the clue. Uh, that is also incorrect. Okay. I can give you a second clue. Yes. So the first one was Apocalypse Now. Your second clue is Pleased to Eat You. Pleased to Eat You. Mm -hmm. That's not sparking anything. I can give you a third clue. You want to go with it? Yes. Yeah, okay. let's go. <laughs> I'll give you a third Definitely, clue. It's the toughest of the round, I think. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree with that, too. Um, the Walking Dead. Sabrina. Sabrina. I will say... Um, Gosh, Dawn of the Dead? Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. Mr. Cabrera? 
Is it Army of the Dead? Is Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead? It is not Army of the Dead. <laughs> that is the recurring theme throughout for World War Z. Oh, wow. You guys are right there, right in the... Yeah, got it. River I've seen there. it. I've seen it. I've never seen, seen it, it once. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys listed horror as one of your strong suits. Figured this yeah. one. Um, all right. Bonus question then. Okay. It's open to both of you. It's worth five points. So here's the bonus question. This is Brad Pitt's highest grossing movie, earning how much at the worldwide box office? And I'll give it to you if you're within 50 million. You both can guess. How, how much at the worldwide, right? So the overall, worldwide box worldwide? office. I'll give it to um, you if you're within 50 million. I'll say, okay, go ahead. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll say, uh 775 million 775 all right I'll, I'll go i'll go just under i'll go 650 uh you both are incorrect it's 531 oh, 531 got it. got it it's brad pitt's highest grossing film of all time wow um all right so nobody got any points on that and uh since so sabrina you had first choice last time we'll throw it over to you uh ace We've got one, two, three, and five. Where do you want to go next? Let's go three. All right. Three it is. Your clue for number three is Speed Freak. Speed Freak. If I could save time in a bottle, Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh um, no! That would be uh, X Men: Days of Future Past. That is correct for ten points. Sabrina's oh, on the board. Damn, you're fast, girl. You know, pulling a Quicksilver. <laughs> damn. Uh, all right, that's one of my favorite scenes, and she's still mm -hmm. got it before me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best scene in that movie. Yeah. Um, all right, Sabrina, you have a 10 to nothing lead. So bonus question time. You have a choice. You can choose to answer this alone, but if you get it wrong, you'll lose five points. Otherwise, you can open it up to both you and Andres. But if he gets it right, he will cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question to you is, do you want to be a dick or not? You know, it's all love here. I don't want to be a dick. It's mm. open to all of us. All right. Open to all of us. Buzz in with your name. Bonus question is this. Days of Future Past was nominated for an Oscar in what category? Ace. Only Ace. Best visual effects. That is correct for five points. Well done. I did it. I did it. <laughs> did it. Should have kept it. It's 10 to 5. Uh, but Sabrina, you got the music question right, which means you have control. We have one, two, and five. Where do you want to go next? Go one. All right. Number one, it is. Your clue is. All right, Andy, I'm going to let you pick because I haven't seen it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So go ahead and give uh, whatever clue you think is best. Sure. Let's go with. Um, your clue is. It takes three to tango. It takes three to tango. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you uh, can Sabrina. always Sabrina. go. Uh, last night in Soho. That is correct for 10 points. Wow. I'm getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's up by 15. It's 20 to 5. Okay. Uh, bonus question, Sabrina. Do you want to be a dick or not? I'll be a dick this time. Mm -hmm. All right. Love that anymore. sense of love is gone that quickly. It's gone. <laughs> um, all right. Here's a bonus question for Sabrina alone. Director Edgar Wright has helmed four movies that are set in the UK. Name them. All four. All four. So last night in Soho. Okay. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Okay. It'd be a really good thing to know his filmography in and out right now. Um, I think I'm tapped out. 
You don't want to just take a stab at two more? I'm trying to think of the rest of the Cornetto trilogy, because that has to be the other two. Um, I think that's it. Can't think of the names. Well, unfortunately, you lose five points then. Yes. Ace, do you know what they are? <laughs> Uh, I want to say at world's end and then what's the police one? Uh, hot fuzz. Yep. Those are the other okay. two. There you go. Yep. But it is 15 to five. Uh, and Sabrina, you got the music question, right? Which means you still have control. We have numbers two and five. I'll say two. Two. All right. Andy, I'm going to lean on you again. I haven't seen this one either. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, your clue is Residents Evil 2. Residents Evil 2. Wise men. Sabrina. Say... Sabrina. The Conjuring 2. Bloody That's hell. correct for 10 points. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> she, she's That's she's all over you, bud. Movie. <laughs> um, I'm all right, that makes it 25 to 5. There's a lot of game left. Don't okay. worry. There is a lot of game left. I'm just shocked at how quick she... <laughs> she's, she's yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, all right, so it makes it 25 to 5. Sabrina, bonus question. Do you want to be mm -hmm. a dick or not? I won't be a dick this time because I got humbled last time. All right, fair enough. It's open to both of you buzzing with your name. If you think you know the answer, here's your bonus question. In the Conjuring series, what two actors play leads, Ed and Lorraine Warren? Sabrina. Sabrina. That would be Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. That is correct for five points. All right, we have one question left in this opening round. Andres, there's, trust me, there's tons of game left. <laughs> tons of game left. Uh, my this favorite is, example uh, of this is JTE was losing by more than this going into the second round and tied the game back to the end of the this second. This is so. uh, Luca killing us right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh close out game? <laughs> oh. Game seven. Come on now. Uh, she's up by 40. This isn't good. This isn't good. <laughs> All right, it is 30 to five right now. Here is your final clue of the opening <clears throat> round Ford versus Ferrari Ford versus Ferrari Life's like a road that you travel on there's one day here and the next you're gone sometimes you bend sometimes uh, you stand Rena cars that is correct for 10 points <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if you remember. It's a beat down, we, bro. We <laughs> did a Disney countdown of our top five Disney songs. That's this right. This is on my list. That's out right. Of all Disney songs. That's right. Okay. I do remember that. And this Big was Rascal Flatts fan on, on my list. Rascal yes. Flatts has two complete bops, and this is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The cover is the one of their best song. Yeah. Uh, it makes it forty to five. So Sabrina. Final bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? No. Boy, that, that felt like pity, to be perfectly honest. Mm -hmm. I hate to say that. I'm yeah. pulling for you, Andres. Oh, no. I, I'll take the pity. <laughs> I need all the help I so, can So get. would I, man. So would I. Be like, well, go ahead. I'm bathing yeah. it. I'm fine with that. Um, all right. Bonus question open to both of you. This was the last feature film of what legendary Hollywood actor who voices the character of Doc Hudson? Sabrina. Sabrina. Would that be Paul Newman? That would be Paul Newman for five points. I don't know how I know that. Honestly, no clue. <laughs> it was I didn't impressive know that. nonetheless. <laughs> uh, I love it. You just crushed in that, and yet you can remember Cornetto trilogy, and you couldn't remember the other two movies. Yeah. yeah. It had a rough start, but... Yeah, <laughs> you were fine ultimately. So it makes it forty-five to five, Mr. Cabrera. There is tons of game left, Got tons it. of game left. You are not out of this, but we'll go ahead and jump in to round two. All right, so this is the five-second round. 
So, uh, Ace, because you're in second, you have choice one through five. Once you make your selection, I'll give a clue. And Andy will play a five-second snippet from that song. It could be the opening, could be the middle, could be the end. It is his choice entirely. <clears throat> if either of you uh, know that movie and you buzz in and you get it in that first five seconds, it's worth 10 points. Otherwise, if we have to go to the second five seconds, it drops the point value down to five points. And you only get one guess per question in this round. Well, that's kind of flexible, but don't guess again until I tell you you can. Um, so, Mr. Cabrera, one through five, where do you want to start the comeback? I'm feeling it, man. I know. Uh, let's go two. All right, two it is. Your clue is I'll see you in a fortnight. I'll see you in a fortnight. Okay. I'll see you in a fortnight. Andres, you want to go with second clue? Uh, I, I or should we guess beforehand? I want to milk this as much as I can. Uh, <laughs> well, if you both know the song, then there's probably no point in going to the second five seconds of music. Um, so yeah, I can give a second a clue. Point. Yes. To keep the point value at 10 points. Yes. Okay. So the first one was, I'll see you in a fortnight. Your second clue is virtual insanity. Oh, this is uh, Ready Player One. Ace, uh, Ready Player One. That is correct. <laughs> For 10 points. Here we go, Ace. The comeback has begun. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it. Uh, it's 45 to 15 right now. Sabrina has a comfortable 30-point lead. But Ace, you have control of the board. Where would you like to go next? Two is gone. One, three, four, or five. Let's go five. All right. Number five it is. Your clue is it's in the game. It's in the game. Okay. It's in the game. The game. I'm not sure if both of you know this song. So we probably have to go to the second five of music, dropping the point value down. Sure. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go. Don't mind me turning on my lights again. Okay. <clears throat> go to the second five of music. <clears throat> but it's just a sweet, sweet fantasy, baby. When I close my eyes, you come and you take me on and on and on. It's in the game. Your second clue is the true man show. It's in the game and the true man show. Ace, is this Space Jam? That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Mm, damn. Sabrina, do you have a guess? I can give a third clue, but then it opens up guessing again to both you and Ace. So if you just want to throw something out right now, it oh. doesn't hurt. Yeah. Okay. So it's in the game. True man show. Saw three. 
<laughs> That's quite a guess. Hold on. Do you, do you want to hear that song again and then try and visualize where that is in Saw 3? Yeah. Yo, Shoot maybe they would have made a movie and then they took the buzz saw. Yeah, on that trap. I remember that. <laughs> I would love it. That would be a great choice for that movie. Um, okay. Your third clue. By the way, Saw 3 is incorrect. Your third clue is Grand Theft Auto. It's in the game Grand Theft Auto and a The True Man Show. Sabrina. Sabrina. I'll say Fast. What's the first one? The Fast and the Furious? Uh, that is the first one, but unfortunately that is incorrect. I'll say I'm probably way off still. Gone at 60 seconds. Uh, also incorrect. Damn. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, that is uh, from Free Guy, the Ryan Reynolds. Oh, never seen it. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. It's not it bad. Play, it it, it yeah. plays every time he passes Jodie Comer. That's oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. like, walk by every night. Not to steal your thunder. <laughs> no. I, I, I'm sent to a Take duet over. here. Take over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, no. I was way off. <laughs> it's all right. You didn't see it. No. Uh, that's fine. So no points awarded there. It's still 45 to 15. And Ace, you got the last one, which means you still have control. We have numbers one, three, and four. Where do you want to go next? Let's go one. All right. Number one, it is. Your clue is Ice Ice Baby. <clears throat> Please, I know you're in there. Ace. Sabrina. Ace. Oh. Frozen. That is correct for 10 points. Oh, I like the good. posturing, too. Nobody's been Take hard that. saying frozen ever. <laughs> frozen, motherfucker. <laughs> yes. That's exactly it. Take that, Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, frozen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like, you know, we got to settle this. Sabrina went with uh, all three syllables and it cost her big time. I know. Okay, I got to stick with I'm going to go with S. Eight. That's fine. S, <laughs> S is fine. Mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't that sound like it... Ace. That won't be difficult. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we got the tape. I can go to the tape. We can go it really to comes tape. down to it. Um, all right. So it makes it 45 to 25. Ace, you got control. And we have numbers three and four. Uh, let's go four. All right. Number four, it is your clue is here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Run, run, run. It's time to run and hide. Run, run, run. And now I'm going to find. Here comes the bride. Going to the second five of music. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Second five it is. You scurry off into the darkness. Hurry, I'm right behind you. Don't you speak. Hide and seek. I'll give you another clue. Murder in laws. Murder in laws. Oh, uh, Sabrina. Sabrina. Would this be ready or not? That would be ready or not for oh, five points. Man. <clears throat> All right. Makes it 50 to 25. We have one question left in the second round. Your final clue is... Street Fighter X. Street Fighter X. Lemonade, my stasis. Mama, mama, serpentine. Street. 
Street Fighter X. Do we want to go, go to another this? five? Second five? I might as well, yeah. yeah. All right. Second five it is. Okay. We are sack bomb Sabrina. Sabrina. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. That's correct for five points. Wow. <laughs> Annihilation, bro. That's all I needed. <laughs> mm. The game is still easily winnable. So it's 55 to 25 right now at the end of round two. But a lot of points to be had in the third round. Ground could be made up. But here we go. Let's jump in to round three. Okay, so Sabrina, because you're in first, you'll have choice one through five. Once you make your selection, I'll give a clue, and you will open the bidding with the number of notes that you'd like to start with. Four is the minimum. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. And then we'll go back and forth. It'll go to ace next, and we'll keep bidding down until one of you tells the other to settle the score. The point values are at eight notes and above, it's worth 10 points. At four notes and above, it's worth 15. Two notes and up, 20. And zero notes and up, it's worth 25 points. If you get the answer wrong, your opponent automatically gets those points. You do have a lifeline that you have. You can use it one time and ask for a second clue. And then finally, you can double down once as well. So if your opponent gets the question wrong and you think you know the movie is, uh, and it's worth 10 points right now. You can double down one time. And if you guess the movie correctly, it'll now be worth 20 points. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. Got it. So, Sabrina, one through five, where would you like to open round three? I'll go with four. All right. Number four, it is your clue is. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. So, Sabrina, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? Four is the minimum. Um, I will say 16. 16. All right, Andres, 15 or fewer. Tell her to settle the score. No, let's go. Uh, let's go 15. 15. Sabrina, back to you. 12. 12? Let's go uh, 10. 10. Okay, settle the score. All right, on 10 notes. So, Andres, you do have a lifeline if you want a second clue. Um, But you only have one of those. Can I hear the first one again? Possession is a... Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Okay. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And here are your ten notes. Oh, by the way, before Andy gets going, base notes don't count. Okay. Yeah, this, Just this, so you're aware. Okay. Okay. And obviously uh, hear it as many times as you need to. Yeah. Yeah, if I can hear can I hear it again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Man, I'm off my game. Uh do you want your lifeline? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I mean, I'm already okay. behind. All right. Andy, I'll give you your second clue. First one was possession is nine-tenths the law. Okay. Um, second clue. TV will rot your brain. TV will rot your brain. And I can't answer? Nope. 
This is Jess Ferrandres. Is this poltergeist? It is poltergeist wow. for 10 points, baby. Pulls it out. Well done. I pull that out like way in the back of my head. <laughs> you just feel Sabrina itching. I know this. Yeah, I like, definitely know this. <laughs> it's like she's got her hand out guarding me. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, come yeah. on out. Um, all right, so that makes it 55 to 35. And Ace, you now have control of the board. We've got one, two, three, and five. Where are we going next? Uh, two. All right. To it is your clue is Jaeger bomb. Jaeger bomb. So how many notes you want to open with? Four is the minimum. Uh, let's start with 12. 12. All right, Sabrina. 11. 11. 10. 10. Can I settle the score? Uh, is he the nope. only one? Wow, well, no, no. nine. He, can't. he has to tell you to settle the score. So you now are at nine. Okay, nine. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Okay, it's worth 15 points now. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. <laughs> Four. Three. Wait. Ooh, it's worth, uh, here we go. 20 points now. What are you saying, Ace? I'm going to get it in two. Two. One? All right, so we're going to settle the score. Oh, <laughs> I, I would have settled the score earlier. I thought you were <laughs> supposed to settle the score. It's, oh, when the yeah. other player has, you have to tell one yeah. or the other. So there's no settling oh, the scores until. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, you know I, I what? I guess we've already made our bed, so sure, two. No, wait. Right, okay. no, you're in one. You're on She's one. You said back. one. And oh. he told you to settle the score on one note. Yeah. Okay, so settle the score. So you are now, Sabrina, settling the score on one note. You you bid one, and he told you, fair enough. Go ahead and settle the score. <laughs> it's worth 25 points. You Damn. do have a lifeline if you want a second clue. Um, your clue, again, is a Jaeger bomb. Here's your one note. I, I kind of love that Sabrina th thought she was... It's yeah, part of a very, uh, very uneventful countdown. <laughs> I, I had no idea what was happening in the last yeah. uh, minute, but we're fine. I got okay. this. All right. Really glad I practiced this one. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> so I will have to do my lifeline to get another okay. hit and base it off that. All right. Andy will give you your second clue. Okay. Uh, your second clue is Iron Giants. Iron Giants. Star Wars Rogue One. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. So, Ace, you can double or nothing this, or you can just take the 25 points. Okay, so explain that one more time for me. All right, right now, if you just take the points, you get 25 points. You can double down. It'll be worth 50 if you get it right. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. And I can play the note for you again. if you Yeah, you can to. play that yeah. note again if you want to yes. hear that. But yes, you don't have please. another context clue or anything else. Okay. Did you hear that? Okay. Yes. Um, Damn, I kind of want to double or nothing on this random guess that I have. Well, I I'll tell you this much. <laughs> If you just take the points, yes. then you take a five-point lead, 60 to 55. If you double down and you get it wrong, then you're still down by 20. Hmm. But you know, if you got it right, well, you go up by 30 points. What do you oh want to do? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to pull the crazy... Nothing. I'm going to pull a Adam Sandler... <laughs> <laughs> Uncut gems. <laughs> this is how I win. Uh, 
Let's go double or nothing, man. Why not? All right, double or nothing. He's <laughs> doubling down. What do you got? This is a huge swing. Is it Pacific Rim? It is Pacific Rim. For Yo! <laughs> well Look at that. Take I that, assume Kevin you got Garnett. it off the note. <laughs> Kevin Garnett. Where you uh, at? <laughs> everyone well, knows he, Pacific Rim starts where's, right where's there. <laughs> that makes it 85 to 55. Ace with the double down. I actually reckon I love Pacific, Pacific Rim's like one of my all time favorite, yeah. like recent movies. So I would have gotten it. Sequel? Uh, not for me. Yeah. Uh, but I would have gotten it <laughs> if if you kept playing for sure. That's yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, I did it. Eat yourself. Very good. Now Apocalypse you just got to hold on this juggernaut, Sabrina, and <laughs> hold on to your tenuous yeah. thirty point lead because <laughs> she has been on her game. Um. All right, Ace, you now have control of the board. You have a 30-point lead, 85 to 55. We have numbers 1, 3, and 5. Where are we going next? Let's go 1. All right, 1. Hey, Sabrina, before we get into it, <laughs> do you understand the bidding process? No. Okay, so we go back and forth, and then one person suggests to settle the score, yeah. and well, then it gets settled. There is no suggestion. You're telling the other person, I don't think you can do it in six notes or three notes or ten notes or whatever it yeah, is. So you're so like, settle you the score. Three, you have to get it in three. Like, yeah. you have to know that you can get it in three. Yeah. Okay. Like, plausibly. So, if you start at ten and then he says nine and you don't think you can get it in nine or you can't get it in any less than nine, then tell him to settle the score. Um, does that make sense? I think so. Okay. Well, we, we can go slower through the round or through the, the next one if you want. Uh, just to make sure that you're on the, the same page. Uh, what number did you say, Ace? You I say said one. one. Yeah. Okay. Number one it is. Um, your clue is return to sender. Return to sender. So, Ace, how many notes are we opening with? Four is the minimum. Uh, Let's go back to 12 again. All right, 12. So what he's saying right now is I can guess this in 12 notes. And whatever number you come out with is you saying I can guess it in this many notes. Right, or you I'll can tell 11. him to settle the score right now. I'll go 11. Okay, I'll 11. Go, go, 10. 10. Settle the score. Settle the score okay. on 10. <laughs> She's cautious. She's, She's playing it out. safe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On uh, 10 notes, you do not have a lifeline, so your only clue is return to sender. Here are your 10 notes. Good luck. Uh, man, can I hear that again? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be that dude. It's fine. No worries. <laughs> Keep hearing it. Turn to sender. Um, man, it's worth ten points. Is this Midsummer? It is not Midsummer. Oh. So, Sabrina, you can do the double down now if you know it. Otherwise, you get 10 points automatically, and you would cut this to a 20-point game. Could I hear it one more time for deciding? Yeah. I know it's in there but I shook my confidence in this last one. So I'm just going to take the points. <laughs> okay. Take the 10 points. It gives you 65 points total. Um, and it's 85 to 65 with ACE in the lead. That is the theme from Looper. Looper. Ooh. Wow. It's been a minute since I've seen it. Yeah. Right, Good right. deal. Wow. Um, 
All right, so Sabrina, you got the points on that, which means you have control of the board. We have numbers three and five. Where would you like to go next? I'll go five. All right. Number five it is. Your clue is the jig is up. The jig is up. So Sabrina, how many notes would you like to open the bidding with? What's the highest I could go? Many, whatever, 100, 50, whatever, you know. I'll go 30. 30 notes. All right. Ace. 20. 20. 19. 19. Uh, I'll go 15. 15. 14. 14. 12. So, so can I settle? You can tell him to settle. Otherwise, you can bid 11 notes or fewer. Settle. All okay. right. 12. Okay. 12 notes. Your clue again was the jig is up. Okay. Saw. Oh. Uh -huh. Saw. Ace. That was for Ace only oh. because you told him to settle the score. So Ace gets the points on that. I have crumbled towards the end of this. <laughs> you had such confidence until two questions ago. Had like a 25 point game lead. Uh, yeah, Ace gets the I points. Started on hitting three pointers, Steph Curry style. Would you have gotten it? Make me feel better. Just pretend. No. Like I mean, oh, I. <laughs> I would have gotten oh, it based no. on the clue. Yeah, maybe the clue, but okay. not the music. No, I mean, I would have guessed maybe saw, mm -hmm. but you gave me the guess. So, <laughs> yeah. it's all good. you know, again, it's all love. Either way, first cut is winning. Yeah, you know what right. it is? It's altitude sickness. It's in yeah. Colorado and oh it's my. a lack of oxygen. I've been chugging so much water. I, I'll, I'll blame it on that. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll co sign that. I've been up there. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, that makes it a 30 point game. We have one question left. Yes. So, Sabrina, the only way that you can tie or win this is you have to bid this down below eight notes, have a settle it, him get it wrong, and then you double down. That's very possible, too. <laughs> it is possible. Considering how I'm playing. Uh, yeah. It's a 30-point oh. game. So just <clears throat> as a heads up, so you need to get this below seven notes and then also get Ace to get it wrong. Tell him to settle the score. Let him answer. Okay. And then double down on him. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have one left. After I give the clue, Ace, you are opening the bidding since you got the points on the last one. So your final clue is I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream of it. So, Ace, how many notes you want to open with? Four is the minimum. Um, let's start right where we need to be. Let's start with eight. All right, eight. So, seven. Okay, seven. <laughs> I was going to say, I could just tell her to settle the score. You could. You could end the game right now if you <laughs> want to. Just end the game. Don't do it. Six. Screw it. All right. Six. Five. Four. All right. Four. So I can't say settle the score? You can you tell can, him to yeah, settle yeah. the score right yeah. now. Settle, four the score. Okay. settle the score. Cool, cool. All right. Okay, so this is for you. This, this is, for, is for Ace only. And if he gets it wrong, you need to double down and then guess it correctly. Okay. So basically, you're wishing that he gets this wrong right now. Even though we established this is nothing but love in the show right now. Yeah, exactly. You need to wish for his downfall. Mm -hmm. I saw the end of Uncut Gems. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> for a second. <laughs> exactly. That type of mentality bites you in the ass eventually. <laughs> All right. Your clue again is I wouldn't dream of it. Here are your four notes.
Ooh, I definitely want to hear that again for sure. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, yeah. Damn, I have two in my head that I'm like, it's definitely one of these two. Um, well, then you got a 50 50 shot. Can I one more time just because it's sure, the last yeah. one? Sure. Let's, let's raise that tension, baby. I'm going to guess. I'm probably, I'm, Sabrina, you might have beat me. I'm going to guess Arrival. That is incorrect. Oh, okay. that is incorrect. All right. So, Sabrina, you have to double down. Yes. And you have to guess on that double down. So, it makes it worth 30 points to tie the ball game. We've never had six, uh, two successful double downs in this closing round. Fingers crossed. Will we go to sudden death? Uh, double saying? down. Sorry, it cut out for a second. Double down. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what is your guess? What is it? Can I hear it one more time? And then it's also the wait, the uh the hint clip? was I wouldn't dream of it, correct? That, yeah. that is correct. Would that be Dune? That is unfortunately incorrect. So I guess. Points. What, was it Inception? Yeah. It was Inception. Oh, that was my... Oh. But I could see the Arrival one. Yep, for sure. Um, yeah. But Ace takes it. That third round was Ooh. a hell of a difference. Ace is today's yeah. champion. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Shout out to uh, Idris Elba, Pacific Rim. <laughs> Shout out. Sure. Yeah, it saved, Why not? saved the whole game for me. He did. And he saved the world, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, there you go. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. Um, Sabrina, a valiant effort. Whew. It was those last, just, those last few questions. That's all it was. Yeah, that last round, round three killed me. But I was feeling good about my performance in round one. You were great. Two. Yeah. I mean, you you gave you gave away saw. That would have been a double down for sure. Oh, I know. I'm gonna be. This is gonna haunt my dreams forever. So I hope you guys right. know that. That seems excessive. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah, that can't be the case. <laughs> uh, but Ace, you are today's big winner. Um, congratulations, sir. The floor is yours. Plug, promote, say whatever you like. What champion. better to promote than our channel? Sabrina and I uh, have first cut. Uh, you can watch our uh, podcast on there, our uh, coverage of movies. And as far as uh, we do box office coverage, we do TV coverage as well. Uh, make sure and check us out on First Cut over on our YouTube channel. And you can follow me at Squad Leader Ace. Uh, yeah, we got both of your uh, Twitter handles in the description awesome. of the show below. But please check them out. And uh, I can put your guys' uh, uh, YouTube channel link in the description as well. So hopefully. Oh, great. Thank you. If there's anybody that's watching this that doesn't know about these two fine individuals in RB3, well then head on over there, and let's let's bump that other the final over the first cut. Yes. Fucking out of number one. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> uh, but Sabrina, literally, you were a juggernaut until those last couple of questions. You were awesome. We'd love to have both of you back again. But the floor is yours as uh, uh, coming in second place. Plug, promote, say whatever you'd like. Yeah, thank you guys. This was so much fun. Uh, like Andre said. First Cut YouTube channel, First Cut TMO on Twitter and Instagram, and then Sabrina X Monica um, on Twitter and Instagram for myself. And that is about it. Letterboxed, uh, Sabrina Ramirez. I post stuff sometimes. All right. Well, please hit the two of them up. Uh, a fantastic game. Congratulations to you, Ace, on being today's big winner. Uh, pulled it out. Told you you weren't out of it. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but yeah, so take that, Luca. Take yeah, that. take that. Come on. <laughs> Come back. Um, all right, Andy, anything you want to say before we get out of here? 
Two things. First thing, fuck golf. Second thing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> second thing. Ace, did you win in your match with... No, I lost. Well done. Uh, I <laughs> it's my first was... win. Yeah. Okay, so you're one and one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Good to know. Good yeah. to know. Um... All right. Well, uh, our thanks to both of you for joining us. Sabrina, taking time out of your vacation to join us. Uh, hopefully, this does not haunt your dreams. This is just a this is a fun show. You know, that don't, don't take it too seriously. It's fine. No, I'm kidding. It was a blast. We'll have you back, <laughs> and you will you will crush whoever that is. That yes. unfortunate soul. I'm going to train like Rocky. All right. <laughs> I'll be a different person. I, th I I I genuinely another thing. Sorry, I have three things. I guess genuinely, Sabrina, one of the best first rounds I've I've seen on this show. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So quick. Like you made the first round a five second round. I did all that rehearsing for nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> ah. didn't even get to, I didn't even get to a chorus. Yeah. That's right. Way to stick it to Britain one more time. Thank you for that, Sabrina. <laughs> right after the 4th of July, no less too. Beautiful. Yep. Um, all right. Well, that is it for this week's uh, Settle the Score. Our thanks to our two guests for joining us. You can find their Twitter handles in the description below and also the link to their YouTube channel, First Cut. And uh, you can follow Andy at SDS underscore Andy M. You can follow me at Matt Knows. That is it for this week's Settle the Score. We'll see you guys next week with another new edition. Until then, stay safe out there. Adios.